brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Daniel is in Raleigh. Welcome to the show, Daniel. How are you doing? Hey, thank you guys so much for having me. I'm, I'm a big fan. We appreciate that. What's your question today? Of course. So I'm 18. I'm a freshman at UNC, and I'm studying business and entrepreneurship. Cool. Um, I own my own business, and I've been having difficulties being able to do a good job both running my business and also doing a good job in school. What's your business? We are an event entertainment company. We specialize in balloon animals and face paint. Cool. Are we talking like kids' birthday parties, carnivals? Like, what are your main gigs? We do some kids' birthday parties. We do lots of festivals, restaurant work. Um, we work with some of the sports teams in North Carolina, like the Panthers and the Hornets. Cool. Um, yeah. All right. And how successful has this business been, and how much time are you putting into it? It's It's been pretty successful. I started it when I was 12, and for five years I was practicing and getting to be the best balloon twister I could. Um, and I've hired up a team to help me run this while I'm in college. Um, last year in 2022, we only made $2,200, but this past year we were able to make over 25,000. Great. And that's net profit. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. And you're saying, Hey, this is a lot for me to run while I'm in college. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And how, how many classes are you taking? Like how many hours are you devoting to school and how much free time do you have right now? I'm devoting about probably 30 to 40 hours to school um, and another 30 hours to my business. Um, and it's just kind of a lot while I'm also trying to be social and have a good time in college. So um, so the question I have is, is this a long-term business play for you or is this something you kind of started? It's throwing off the cash and you kind of enjoy it. I mean, what's the strategy here with this business mm-hmm. as it is today? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm enamored with what I do. I, I love making balloons for a living. It's, it's a lot of fun. I want to do it for life. Um, this is a business I want to own and grow to hopefully be a national change someday. Um, and we've been growing really well this year and last year, and this is what I want to do with my life. Um, and I'm going to school for a chance to learn how to better grow my business while also getting to have fun while getting an education. Well, so you've got, you mentioned three things. You've got school, Mm -hmm. you've got the business and you've got a social life. It doesn't sound Mm -hmm. like you can do all three of those to the level that you want. So you've got to start going, Mm -hmm. okay, let me reverse engineer this. What's most important long-term and that's going to determine what's most important in the short term. And I, Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be coy with the answer, but it's like, okay, maybe I don't take as many classes. I mm-hmm. can still pursue the degree. I'm not in any way telling you to drop out of college, but I'm saying mm-hmm. something's got to give. Or you because, do less gigs with the business. Yeah, that's the other or thing. Or you're less involved. That's right. The business stays where it is for now, meaning it doesn't grow until mm-hmm. you have more time to give to it. Something mm-hmm. has to give way here. That's true. Can yeah. you delegate more to the team? I can. Um, I've hired up a manager that will start, I'm training him in sales right now. And that's a big thing I've been dealing with is sales for the business and taking the sales calls. And hopefully I'll have more time to focus on other things, whether that's higher leverage opportunities for our business or more time towards school. I'm, I'm not sure yet. What is the thing um, that you're most valuable in, in the business right now? You just mentioned one aspect you've been doing sales mm-hmm. What's the thing that only you can do right now? Right now it's sales, um, but hopefully soon it won't be. Um, I'd say I have a lot of the strategy for the business. I'm the one that makes the instructional videos on how to learn balloon twisting since we train our own balloon twisters. Um, So just, I guess, HR and growing the team as well as finding the customers and making the right decisions to get customer leads. Okay. And who's paying for school right now? Right now, my parents are. Um, they're paying for the first year or two. Um, and I will be able, I, I won't have issues paying for school afterwards either. 
So you have no debt and you have a pile of money in the bank and you're also putting money away that you're making from the business? Yes, sir. I save almost all of my income. Incredible. Because that's an important piece of this equation is not going into debt. I want to see you finish mm -hmm. school if that's a goal for you to get this degree that will help you mm -hmm. flourish in business. And it sounds like you want to do this long term, full time as soon as you're out of school. Yeah. So this is a mm -hmm. temporary. You got what, three more years or are you in the first year? I'm, I'm in my first year. I'm, okay. I'm a freshman. Yes. Yeah. So the other question is, how do we expedite college? Can you take on mm -hmm. more credits and just crush through this so you're 21 mm -hmm. years old graduating to pursue mm -hmm. this business? That's, that's that true. might mean you slow down in order to speed up. Mm -hmm. And so that might mean delegating. It might mean the business just doesn't go for a season. And mm -hmm. that you got to be okay with that because you're doing a lot at once right now. And I don't want to see your grades suffer while the business suffers and you end up not making progress on either. That's that's true. That's that's a good point. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so I'd sit down with the with the folks that you have, see what kind of hires you need to make while making this business sustainable, because you don't want to mm -hmm. eat into all the profits trying to just keep this business afloat to where it's not really accomplishing anything for you. Yes, sir. So that's um, that's some big decisions to make at your age. I'm proud of you, man. You've done really well. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Best of luck um, with the future. Anything else we can help with? Yeah. Um, so I've been following you guys' baby steps, and I'm now on baby step five. And, I mean, I'm 18 years old. I don't have a wife or kids, and I don't even have a girlfriend. So it feels a little premature to start saving for my child's college fund. Uh, what would you recommend doing once I make it to baby step five and I'm not sure how to move forward? I would focus on a home down payment fund. And that might just mm -hmm. be a general high yield savings account. And you put every mm -hmm. extra dollar you can into that high yield savings account and it's sitting there mm -hmm. making you four to 5%. Uh, the other mm -hmm. thing you could do is open up a Roth IRA and contribute to that okay. and max one out for the year based on your stage mm -hmm. and based on the fact that you told me you're going to graduate debt free. So I think both of those mm -hmm. are wise for your future goals. Because when you graduate, adulthood is going to hit you like a ton of bricks with bills and you're going to want to do stuff mm -hmm. and buy a home one day. And so to be ahead of the game with no debt and a pile of money in the bank, dude, you're going to be light years ahead of your peers. That, that's the plan. Thank you. Um, right now I have about half of my money saved in a high yield savings account Good. and half of my money saved in the stock market, specifically with VU and RSP. Um, how do I know how to allocate money to reinvest in my business versus allocate money for the stock market? How do I know where I should be investing more of my money? Well, I would look at you know what the last year of business expenses has looked for you, what's coming up in the next year for you know hiring, and we got to upgrade our equipment. And so that's the amount of money I'd be starting kind of a sinking fund and reserves for. But outside of that, you've got the money set aside in your savings account. And so if worse came to worse, you could kind of rob Peter to pay Paul in a sense to cover any business expense. But if you're running this thing debt-free and you've got some money to cover those equipment, expenses, rentals, whatever your needs are, you're in great shape as far as the business. And so unless it's making a new hire, which hopefully they're going to produce enough revenue to offset what they cost you. So that's going to be the goal running this business. I'm going to send you a copy of Dave's book, Entree Leadership, as well, Daniel. That's our playbook for how Dave built this thing from a card table in his living room to the Ramsey Empire with over a thousand team members in this amazing campus. And I think it will encourage you along the way as you're actually hiring people at 18 years old. I mean, what an impressive kid. This is this is an adult, and his parents did a great job raising him well. He's asking the right old. questions. Yeah, I mean, certainly at 18, looking long term like this and having to make these kind of tough decisions, very entrepreneurial. You love seeing that in this generation, and um, really interesting to see. And you know, I, I never want to push anybody to drop out of college, but at some point, how much what business training do you need versus a true four year degree? Maybe even Learning looking at trenches. more business classes, business training small business things like that. I That's love what it. I'd be looking at. And Daniel, if you ever come by Ramsey Solutions, I'd love to you to twist me a, a little camel balloon. I think that'd be fun. Oh, what do you think, Ken? I Yeah, I would actually love to see that. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.